So quick intermission from cleaning. I had to go take a shower. I had to take a break from cleaning. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm just doing too much. But we're gonna do something fun in the middle of this video. So I do have a haul for you guys. Yay! Uh, thank you so much to Boo for sponsoring this video for us. You guys know, y'all. I have so much lavender. I'm so excited. I don't know why I love lavender. Do you guys remember last year I kept painting my nails lavender? Now I just want everything in my life to be the shade of purple. So I'm going to show you guys what I picked up really quickly. You know, I just figured I might as well do a while I look like a semi-human because I was looking rough. I was looking rough. So yeah, let's just get into this haul. Really quick. I got was this pajama set. Um, I just needed like a good pair of maternity pajamas. That way, excuse me. That way I could just feel comfortable around the house because like I could wear my regular sweatpants still but when I have them like underneath my belly like this they're just so uncomfortable like they just make me feel like I'm bigger than I am and I just hate it. So these are super cute. They're nice and thin which I like like they're nice and airy because it is getting warm outside. They hit like right on the mid belly and it says shh mommy is sleeping. Um, so yeah, super, super cute, super breathable. If you were curious about my mauve bralette that's under here, this is also from Boohoo. I had this for like almost a year, I want to say now. So yeah, this is just super, super cute. I just got my slippers on with it and I just got the shower. So this is definitely my vibe for the rest of the day because I am tired. I just been doing so much since I woke up. It's Monday. I had to start the month off great. So yeah, let's move on to the actual clothing. <laughs> All right, so next up, I got this midi dress. I'm just trying to incorporate like a lot of dresses for spring and going into summer um, that are super, super comfortable. And this one is that. It's so stretchy that it like feels like I have nothing on. As you can see, the bump is in full effect. But you guys know I love stuff with like cutouts like this. It's just so sporty and casual. Like I could wear this with heels. I could wear it with flip flops and just look like it's not like a basic black dress while I'm pregnant because you guys know stuff is limited. But this is actually regular. So if you're not pregnant, this is still a vibe. Um, I like it even like with the slick back look, obviously if I had makeup on and stuff, but super, super cute. It's really, really comfortable. It is a little like see-through right here. So you just would have to wear like some nipple pasties or something. I'll link my favorite ones down below for you guys. Um, but yeah, this is super, super cute because I could just wear this on a day out if I have to go to like a nice fancy dinner or something where I don't feel like, you know, I'm a little constricted because I am pregnant, but this is super, super nice. I knew it was going to be cute because you guys know I own so many things with this cutout style right here. Like it's definitely my favorite, but yeah, it's super nice. I like how stretchy it is as well at the bottom. Like it's not uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, this is two thumbs up for me. Love this. It looks really like luxe because of the cutout. So it's just like your basic LBD to the next level boohoo you did that this one was calling me i don't know how i found this but it was calling me but so there's the dog you know the dog was coming i picked up this maternity bathing suit because you guys know i have been on a maternity kick um and i just figured why not just add one little cute maternity one so from the front you can't really tell like i just look like i don't have <laughs> a shape to me um but from the side 
the bump is there um and my stretch marks hey girl hey so the top is super super cute i just have the straps down because i like when they look like a little bit more scrunchy like that like i just feel like it looks super super cute i love how it doesn't go up too high but i can make it go up a little bit more if i wanted to but i just feel like i feel pregnant and kind of sexy i'm not gonna lie this is definitely not something that i would be like yeah let me get um, but I just feel like it would be nice to just have one maternity swimsuit in my collection for the spring and the summer. Um, that way, if I just ever get to a point where I don't want to show everything, I have this option. And it's black. It's classic, you know? Alright, so next up, I just have this one on top of me because it came in a two-pack. Listen, <laughs> I'm out of breath, but I'm just showing it to you. So this one is like a full-blown midi. Um, it's so funny because you can see how like maternity things they're like wide right here But it's just to have room for the bump, but it was a two-pack So it came in a midi in a short um, They're both the exact same dress same style same t-shirt and it has like extra room for me to grow into which I really really like But I just got this as something just to have super casual to throw on again I don't have much maternity stuff in my closet um, But like adding little pieces like this that could just go with everything at any time of the day with any shoes I need you know but other than that like I wear regular clothing which you guys are gonna see next um is not maternity from boohoo but yeah this came in a two-pack so I just thought it was a cute little bargain um that way I have options I got a short one I have a midi one so yeah this one is like a little long I feel like I wish it was like up to here <laughs> but that might be because I just like short clothes um and the other one is like super super long but yeah it's super cute really nice and stretchy as well it's a nice material it's not double lined which is a good thing while pregnant just because i feel like i could breathe like i feel nice and airy um so yeah it's just has room for me to grow into so this is like definitely something i would just throw on with some sneakers or some sandals and if i have to dress it up throw something over my shoulders like a blazer so yeah I just pick up these two so now let's move on to what i'm most excited about because you guys are gonna be like girl you're so predictable all right so next up do you guys remember this outfit yes i went and got it in a whole different color way oh my god my hair is drying so i picked up the jumpsuit this is not maternity this is the regular jumpsuit i just have it in a size large a lot of you guys were asking me in the last video if i wasn't pregnant what size would i get i could have definitely got a medium in this still um even while pregnant it's just super super stretchy so just take your true size um but i just like getting a large that way i have room am i getting out of breath i'm getting but yeah, so I picked it up in this color because you guys know I just loved it. It just was so comfortable. I just couldn't. And then I found this jacket and it's literally the cutest thing ever. Come, like, get into the tones that I matched via the internet. Um, so cute. I love how it's a little bit heavier because the weather is still wonky on the East Coast. So, like, during the day, it is a little hot, but... It gets right back down to 50 60 because girl i'd be freezing um so i really really like this one it's like in this really pretty knit but it's like the perfect transition piece because of the tans and the pastel and the lavender and all that so really really like this this is just definitely a vibe last time i was so excited to wear it, i wore it the next day um so yeah super super cute this look really nice with some sneakers again the same way i wore the last one i'll insert a picture right here if you don't know what i'm talking about um but it's just a vibe it's just like spring but definitely giving very much i know the weather has ups and downs throughout the day you know then on the same note with lavender i don't know i just have been loving lavender you guys i also been loving pink but pastels are just doing it for me and like when i see them in all these companies i get so excited so i picked up a crew neck you guys know i just love crew necks i'm a hoarder for a crew necks i don't know why i think i need so many but i love them but i just thought this would be so cute just thrown over the shoulders because again that way it's like hey i know it's going to get a little bit colder at night but it's a spring tone you know spring is some color like this would be really cute with some gray sweatpants or sweatshirts or something like that too but i just paired it with the jumpsuit again because i will also wear it like this um it's just adorable i love the color especially if i have my matching nails on don't play with me um, but yeah, super, super cute. It's literally just a traditional, um, what's this called? Oh, my hair just is so wet. It just smacked me. It's literally just a traditional, um, what's it called? Sweatshirt. And it just says official studio. So super, super cute. You guys know I love the quality of their pullovers as well. So yeah, I have one more purple thing to show you. And then the purple spray is over with. All right. And 
the next purple thing that I got was this blazer. You guys remember the last haul, I picked up that hot pink one and I really, really liked it. I was so excited about it. So I saw the lavender one and I just couldn't leave it. So super, super cute. It's cute with this bodysuit as well. I'm telling you, get the bodysuits. They go with everything. So yeah, love this blazer. I just have it thrown over the shoulders. This blazer is plus size, I believe. I'm like 98% sure it's plus size, but you guys know I don't mind. Oh no, the baby just kicked me out. Um, but I don't mind them a little oversized. I'm kind of getting into that oversized feel when it comes to like blazers like this, especially because it's so lightweight and like boxy and straight line. I don't mind it as at all. Um, so yeah, really, really like this one as well. It's just super, super cute just to throw on. Like if I want to go to brunch or something or just have a nice lunch outside, I'm just, I'm giving the color palette, you know? For some of my accessories that I picked up, I got like these cute little hoops right here. Um, they're like a coil, which is so different and so cute. You guys know, I just like putting hoops on sometimes just to make me feel a little spicy with my ponytails because I don't like ponytails. So hoops definitely make me like them. And then I picked up this three pack of hair ties um scrunchies they're just so cute i just think these are just so summery and spring they come in like these nice pastels so yeah i picked these up and i just put one in my hair in a bun super super nice and tight which i like because i do have thick hair so yeah love these as well and let's just put on the one last item and end the haul oh my god this is the worst part but it's okay because there's more sundays to come and last but not least, of course, I picked up a pair of sweatpants because who would I be if I didn't? Um, I just threw on that same bralette from Boohoo. I told you guys, I just own so many of these that even without realizing that I was filming the Boohoo portion, I put on something from Boohoo. So, yeah. Oh, I forgot to put on oil on my tummy. Okay. But I picked up these sweatpants. I don't know. I just love the color, guys. They're like a periwinkle. Is this what we learned on Blue's Clues? Is that periwinkle? I think it's a periwinkle. Maybe. I don't know. I really, really love these sweatpants. I just thought they were super cute. Sometimes when I am walking around the house, like for a work day, I literally just would throw on a bralette like this, let my stomach be free, and a cute little pair of sweatpants. So this color just definitely gave me spring vibes. Again, I'm just over gray and black. I had enough. Goodbye. We will see you next year. We had enough of you in 2020 and 2021. So yeah, I just picked these up. Super comfortable, you guys know. Again, I always love Boohoo sweatpants in their loungewear. They never let me down. It's always like the perfect medium ground of thickness, warmth, softness, coziness. You know the vibes. So yeah, this was the last thing that I picked up. This is what I'm going to keep on to finish working. So I will see you guys for the rest of Sundays. Thank you so much to Boohoo for sponsoring this part of the video for us. And yeah, let's go finish cleaning. Girl, we was making progress for cleaning and then I just got lazy. I just got tired, but I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish. I might not finish it all today, but I'm gonna finish. It's Taco Tuesday. Um, I'm gonna do a quick little unboxing with you guys really quickly and then I need to go clean the bathroom. I still didn't put any of that stuff away yesterday, so I need to go do that. I'm just lazy today, honestly. It was the first day back at school and girl she took a toll on me so i have some things from amazon oh and i got this bathing suit right here let me open this because i'm so excited about this i've been wanting this bathing suit for a while the fact that this is like just in the corner is bothering me i've been wanting this bathing suit for a while um and then i guess it was like i don't need it but it started haunting me on instagram so i bought it so I got a bathing suit from Triangle. Um, I think Triangle used to be like really, really popular back in the Dizzy. And then it kind of like disappeared and now it's back again. I don't know. Um, this is super cute. Triangle return exchange form returns will be accepted with its completed form. Email. Da -da 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 -da. This is really cute. Uh, branding. Like if I had a brand, I would do something like this. So the like return label comes in this. So you have to return this little envelope to them with your return. Because in the back you put your name, your order, and your return code. I really like this. It's really nice quality as well. So we're off to a great start because the bathing suit was $100. <laughs> um, so I got this white one. You guys know I just love me a good white bikini. Wow, my lips are so dry. I don't know why. It's that same style top that i've been loving with like the peephole in the center i got mine like in this really nice um 
it's like a terry cloth but it's not really a terry cloth it's like a hybrid between a terry cloth it kind of reminds me of a rug i'm not gonna lie but i really like it i saw a girl post a picture in it if editing me remembers i'll try to include the screenshot of her right here but like you can see the texture um and i was like "Ooh, i want that i need this so yeah really really nice um i got this in a medium quality is really nice especially for a hundred dollars it says like triangle right there it's heavy duty how do you get it open i don't know but whatever um so yeah i got the top in a medium and then i don't know what this is you get like this little scuba bag which is really really nice and it matches the bikini oh and the bikini bottoms are in here you must not know me baby and this is the bikini bottom you guys know i love me a high bikini i got this in the medium as well it has triangle right here in leather but the packaging is really nice for $100. Like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is the kind of stuff. If this would have came in, like, a custom box, I would have been dying. Um, but, like, around the straps on both the top and the bottom, it has this matte black boxing around it. And it says triangle. Love that. Just the little details that really matter. The tags are really, really heavy duty and nice. Please keep the tag attached if you wish to return this item. Um, I like how it's more of like an embossed. If you guys hear my neighbor's kids outside, ignore them. They're loud. They don't get outside often because we're in a pandemic and they don't go anywhere either. But this like bag is like a really nice neoprene. This would be like really cute as a clutch as well. Um, especially like if you're just out with your bikini like, hey, gotta go. So yeah, and the branding is really cute too. So love that. I'm going to actually save this just in case, you know. If I ever come out with my own brand, <laughs> I got ideas. But yeah, so that's super, super cute. I've been wanting that. Super happy with that purchase already. Just because I can tell it's a great quality. Um, so now on to Amazon. I have a few boxes right here. What's the beef, bro? You must not know me, baby. Um, I just picked up some white contact paper because I'm going to put contact paper on the front of my drawers from the container store. Um, you guys know I love my drawers from the container store. I have the like the like it system. Um, Harper, can you close the window really quick because the kids are loud. Um, I really like my drawers, but I got the ones that have more of like a smoky white front which are really nice. But because I've been like overstuffing them, I can see everything through them, especially like if it's a mass box to the front i can see that it just bothers me so i'm gonna just put some white contact paper over it and then make some labels on a cricket for it so yeah that's why i picked this up nothing exciting but you know things you could get on amazon that you don't gotta go to the store for you must not know me baby oh. this box is now made with less material okay amazon so the next stuff that I picked up um, are just some like random bits that I needed to replenish on. So I picked up some gel polish. This is my one of them. I ordered two. The other one gets here tomorrow. So I'll remember to show you guys that. Um, so you guys know, I was going to the nail salon. And then I was going to go this week for my birthday. Easter-ish. But I don't have anything coming up. I do want to get them done. I'm just lazy right now. I just feel like very overwhelmed and kind of just like I'm doing too much. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get them done if I have anywhere to go. But as of right now, I don't. So I just picked up some more gel polishes. So I picked up this pastel set. You guys always ask me what polishes I'm wearing. And they're always from Amazon. Some of them are Kiera Sky. If they are Kiera Sky, I do try to name the polish in the description box. Um, but for the most part they're just like sets from amazon um they go in and out of stock i do think they're on my amazon storefront but yeah so i picked up these i'm gonna show you the colors if it's gonna show is it gonna show mm, i don't know hopefully it did but there's like a peachy lavender a real peach a baby yellow a baby periwinkle and like a baby turquoise so i just wanted like some nice spring colors so i picked those up it also came with some glitter. I don't know. You know when you order things from Amazon, you always just get like random little bits and bobs. 
Um, and then the set I ordered that comes tomorrow, it's like a 46 piece of pastels as well. So excited. In the time video, I mentioned how the light that I use on top of my vlog camera that I love because I felt like my vlog camera is really nice quality as well. Um, you guys see how the hair, she's coming back. She's coming back. Um, she's really long in the back. Like if I put on my hair to the back, it's down my back. But from the front, you know your hair just does be dirty. But I told you guys I love the light that's on top of my vlog camera. Like I feel like it just makes the quality look way better. Like I told you guys I started liking it more than my DSLR. So I picked up this bigger one so that um, I could use if I ever start taking pictures or if I ever start going outside again. Um, but basically it's just a bigger version of this that say if you're outside at nighttime and you really want the picture but it's just like my quality you know i can't sacrifice my quality um this one is just huge and you could just hold it up or like have your friend hold it up um because you can put like a horseshoe mount on this or like put it on a tripod if you want but um it's super super cute basically if you were ever curious how people get bomb quality at nighttime they take these some people have bigger ones like the ones that i use to actually film with people actually use those as well because they seem big but they're very portable and they also have batteries but i just feel like this is one i could just throw in my bag if i knew i was like going out and i was like damn i look fire i need a pick right but if somebody was to hold this up next to the phone the lighting is going to be lit so yeah i just picked this up um i gotta charge it I'll try to show you. Oh, it actually came with the horseshoe mount. That's nice. Um, I'll try to show you guys. And it also came with like color boards. So if you want to put like a color on it, um, not that I would ever do that, but you know, maybe if I ever had like an artsy little project to do, I would. So yeah, I'll charge this and try to show you guys how bright it is maybe. Then I also picked up a new tripod. I actually picked this up from Aaliyah's storefront. Um, wow, it came with a lot of stuff. Amazon literally just always got kits. Like, it's just never the thing. It's always kits. So it came with, this is the button I was telling you about. I don't like these buttons. You see how they're big? They're square. They take up a lot of space. They take a lot of real estate up in your hand. Where this one is just way, way more narrow. So I just prefer these. And again, I have some of these. But I have a bunch of these as well. And I don't like them. So I just like these ones. Um, I'm actually going to take the battery out. Is it the same battery? It is because that way I just have extra batteries. Um, okay, but yeah, I don't like these ones. They just when you have them in your hand, it could look more obvious. Whereas this one, you could like slide your finger in and kind of like play it off real good. Um, so yeah, this one's fresh. But yeah, so I picked this up from Aaliyah's storefront because oh, it's the foot part. What was that? I don't know. You guys know I have one that I really, really like. The reason I really like mine is because it's just super easy, travel friendly. Like I specifically got it because it folds up to like this big um, and it gets big enough for me because I'm 5'4". Like it's nothing that goes to like six foot or anything, but it gets the job done for me. I like that one because like when I do travel and stuff, I could just throw it in my travel, my like my travel suitcase, my purse and I'm good to go. Uh, but I just got this one like to have in the house. This one definitely is bigger. Mine's probably goes only from like right here to right here. Um, but this one goes taller. So yeah, you know, she always talks about this one. So I just figured I'd pick it up. So I did go on her storefront and buy the exact one. And that way sis could get her commission as well. But it's really nice quality. Um, especially like for one for me to have in the house. I got something from Urban Stems in the mail. I don't know who it's from. I'm guessing it's because my birthday's tomorrow. How draining. Yet another birthday in a pandemic. It says for you. Age just sending you a slice of joy for your birthday and baby thing. Thank you so much for all your journey and support of my business celebrating you. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh my god, I definitely wasn't expecting this. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. You guys are literally so sweet. This is actually from, I believe her name is Aisha or Aisha. She needs to DM me and let me know how it's pronounced. Um, she is the owner of the brand of that sweatshirt I wore in my collective haul, The Black Woman Deserve Luxury. So she had DM me. She wanted to send me a sweatshirt, um, but I like this. So I, you know, I purchased it myself. And she's so sweet. She comments on every video. We talk all the time in DMs. But she sent me flowers for my birthday. That is so 
so sweet thank you so much i was not expecting that Wow, sis, you better than my friends. Like, what the hell? That was so sweet of her, though. Definitely didn't need to do that for me. But thank you, because I love flowers. I really do. Uh, that was, oh, this is a really nice vase, too, guys. Look at this. I'm going to put this in my office once the flowers um, are done. This is, it smells like flowers already. This is actually a really nice vase. It's, like, geometric. Um... That is literally the sweetest thing ever. I was like, I don't know if my friends were gonna like, they better, but <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not that type of friend. I am. Um, but I wasn't excited. I was like, I'm flowers already. Oh, I gotta like water them and put food in because they've been in the box all day. I'm really slow at opening packages, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, you know? So yeah, I'm actually gonna go clean up all of this stuff because it's just boxes everywhere and I didn't even get anything. Um, and then I'm gonna go clean the bathroom. Well, let's go clean the bathroom together. Um, I gotta get a mask though because I don't wanna inhale too many of the fumes. Um, is that extra? I don't think not. But I wanna like scrub, you know? So I need to get a face mask. Um, but I think I'm actually gonna put the contact paper on really quick. I wanna like be done with all of this stuff. And then we'll go clean the bathroom. And that's going to be our Tuesday. Um, I did curl my hair today. If you guys are, like, curious how I did this, just let me know. It's nothing nothing intricate or groundbreaking. Um, I used the biggest barrel on my T3 curler. But, yeah, I could definitely show you guys, like, really quickly one time in a vlog. I also need to show you guys how I did my other curls. But, yeah, I wish I had my eyelashes done. But I'm just trying to embrace myself, my natural self, a little bit more. And kind of let my, eyebrow, my eyebrows, my eyelashes grow. And kind of like be less dependent on them um so if you don't like no lashes asia i'm sorry but i gotta learn how to love me for me you know um so yeah all right let me go do this stuff real quick and then we'll meet you in the bathroom to clean that because i gotta put all this stuff away girl all of it friends today's wednesday woman crush wednesday um it's my birthday yay I turned 25 today um i don't know what time exactly i'll try to insert the time i was born right here um but yeah it's wednesday and my makeup is done because i filmed i don't know if you guys are gonna see the video if you are gonna see it you would have already saw it by now but i'm saying that because i don't know i felt like my energy was kind of low i had nowhere i don't know where the video was going i just was talking what is this piece of hair doing but yeah i just um what did i do with my phone i don't know i did my makeup and stuff because i felt like i needed to post a picture and because i'm pregnant i don't have any pictures like in my camera roll that you would think are from right now so i had to physically go take a picture excuse the nips um so i did my makeup for that i had the worst headache all day i still do have a headache so like that's why my energy seems so low so i just wanted to come on here and film something for wednesday and i figured why not do it while i look better than i usually do um i mean i'd be looking fine regardless but yeah you know the vibes so i just figured i would come on here and say hey guys it's my birthday what's up what's the vibes um and then i'm gonna go take a shower and clock out for today i don't know why i've had a headache all day i i don't wake up with headaches i really don't get headaches um but i've been getting them a lot during this pregnancy 
so yeah i have some packages right here we're gonna open really quickly of course you guys know the vibes when we're sitting on the floor right now i'm not gonna be able to get up so we're just having a way of winging it and i have boxes everywhere oh this is from louis vuitton this is fancy we're off to a start i think this one's from my mom my mom always asks me like what I want and stuff and I always tell her nothing because I don't ever want nothing. I'm at that point in my life where I buy myself everything I want. So when people ask me what I want, <laughs> I'm just like, you don't have to give me nothing. But she bought me, oh, she got me a bracelet. She knows I love these Louis Vuitton bracelets. I was going to buy myself this one, but I um, I was actually going to get myself this one in Ireland. Sorry if you guys hear the ice cream truck. You know the vibes. It's springtime. This one's super, super cute. It's like really, really dainty, just like the other one, but it's a little bit thinner. Um, this is how, how did she know my size? What is this? Oh, this is actually for some sponsored content that's coming up. So I'm not gonna show this to you guys, but I don't even know why I'm opening it if I'm not gonna show you. Next thing is actually for Harper. Um, it's something I used to do for her when she was a baby. But um, I got it for her when she was like literally a newborn. So when she became a baby toddler around that era, she um, ripped all the pages. And I really, really liked it. Yeah, she like destroyed it when she was a baby. So I just threw it out. Um, and since her birthday is next week, my hair always looks so long in the vlogs. And then like when I go to take a picture, it just is not giving the same vibe. I love that my hair is growing back so, ow. Um, basically what I'm talking about is I get Harper these custom books um, and they're just full of pictures it's like a photo album basically but I remembered my password to the website and I logged in it just like crossed my mind one day and I logged in and my book was still saved so I just changed the last name to her real last name that she has on her birth certificate and I just re-bought it so that now she's older she can appreciate it she can really just hold on to it um again I just had it out before and she just teared it all up so it says welcome to the world Harper Marie and this is one of her pictures from the hospital and I'll just show you guys like a few pages so like the front page says hello baby and it says she was born April 14th 2014 at 11 53 a.m she weighed seven pounds and four ounces and she was 19 and a half inches but it's literally just full of pictures you guys know i'm a very sentimental person i think you guys picked up on that when i was showing you what i got Jalen for her gift um i just like doing stuff like this so yeah it just has like a lot of pictures of her yes my baby is white okay um so like pictures from the hospital in here and it just basically goes through like the first couple months of her life. So it says like best friends forever. It's pictures of her and my little sister. Um, some more pictures of her. Oh, she's the cutest little baby. Can't wait to have another baby. Um, and yeah, it's just full of pictures. It's basically a custom photo album. Um, she's just so funny. I just, I have pictures printed, but I like this idea as well. Just to have like this really nice quality book. So I'm going to wrap these up for her, for her birthday. Like, how can you? She's so cute. Nobody has ever seen these photos. I never, I didn't post Harper a lot when she was a baby. I'm going to do the same thing with this baby. I just try to protect my kids as much as possible. Um, like, look how freaking chunky she was. So these are, like, all never before seen. This is, like, a day before her first birthday. Oh, my God. I cannot. She looks just like her dad, but she definitely, like, the older she gets, the more she looks like me, which is funny because I look just like my dad, but the older I get, like, I start to resemble my mom. Um, like, it's pictures of her and, like, my mom in here, and her and my stepdad, Khalil. It's, like, when Khalil first came into my life, Harper was so little. So, like, every time Harper's getting older, me and Khalil were like, oh, my God, we have been friends for a long time. We've been friends for almost seven years now. So... And then I picked her up one for this year of her birthday. So it says rainbow is my favorite color. This is a picture I took of her last year for her birthday. It's super, super cute. Um, and it says live in color, seven years of adventures with Harper. So basically, I just put all the, her most recent photos from the last few years in here. So I'll just show you guys like this one really quick. This is such a beautiful picture. This is one of my favorite pictures. Um, you would think that this is me and her dad or something, but 
it's just my best friend um but yeah so many pictures of me and my baby girl lots of pictures of her and my mom and it says ride or die i swear this is my mom's kid do you guys see this they look just alike and then there's me i gave birth to my mom's human um just like pictures in the last few years because again that one went up to like one to two um and then this one kind of just goes on so this is just so many and all the pictures are so high quality it's her and her baby sister ellie um her dad's youngest daughter some pictures right here so her me and my godson my little sister and her older sister from her dad and then her dad her sister's sister um they're all close and then me and her oh my god i love this this is so pretty the quality is so good i put like our disney trips in here from the last two years um her beach pictures from miami look at my little baby she's a model uh, christmas and then there's this picture of her this is one of my favorite pictures of harp she's so funny she has so much personality why am i showing you guys the whole book like you guys care i don't know but it's just so good it's so pretty and you literally just um you literally just pick a template that you like and you just drop your pictures in um it's her and her older sister as well and it's her when she used to do ballet and then like i wanted extra pictures so like i just was adding pages isn't this page picture the funniest she has so much personality when she was little see she always loved baby dolls always um but yeah it's just full of memories you know like just some of my favorite pictures of her to kind of just show her personality um look at her she's under the cart at target she's so sassy this is her little sister this is like her her second trip at disney um this one kylo told her to give her a kiss and she was like what <laughs> um this is when she used to do gymnastics that's such a funny kid um, and in the back, I put a picture on this one. And it's her and my little sister from, like, their first Christmas together. So, yeah, these came out really, really nice quality. These are from their burnt company mix book. Oh, is she coming? No, oh, she's not coming. She's going to her iPad. But, yeah, these are really, really nice quality. These are from mix book. Like I said, I'll link the company down below. Um, highly recommend. Again, I bought one of these seven years ago. The quality was really nice. But these are amazing and it's super easy you just literally drop your pictures in so love that gonna wrap that up for her um she might not appreciate it but she's very sentimental like me so i think she'll like it gel nail polishes that i got i'll insert a picture of like the thumbnail of all the colors but it's this many um they're not like the full size bottles but i don't mind that because it's only me doing my nails so i don't ever get to use a full bottle of gel polish so i don't mind like these um mini ones to eight milliliters but yeah there's yellows oranges peaches purples greens blues and stuff so it's like just a nice gradient of spring colors so yeah i picked that up because i told you guys i just needed some new polishes and if you just go to amazon like i do like the kiara sky ones like i told you guys yesterday but how are you gonna steal the bubble right I do like the Kier Sky ones, um, but they're expensive. So unless I know like the specific color that I want, I just don't even bother. Um, and shipping is slow. I'm all about shipping. All about the quick shipping, you yeah, know? And then I have some flowers. I swear, isn't that so crazy? You could get boxed flowers these days. Like, oh, Linda, you're so sweet to me. Happy birthday, sis. Wishing you all amazing things in life. I pray that God continues to bless you. Lots of love, success, and happiness. I love what? Well, I hope you enjoy your birthday. Love, Linda. Oh, Linda, you're so sweet. So, yeah, I'm going to clean up all these boxes and straighten up my room. Semi straighten up my room. I mean, my room's not dirty, but I'm just going to like throw things in places until tomorrow because I just need to get in the bed. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning into this unboxing on this beautiful Wednesday. Um, Wow, my hair is like thriving. It's so funny because you guys always comment and DM me and ask me what products do I use in my hair for it to be so shiny. Guys, that's just my hair. Like my hair has always had like this really nice luster t to it. Um, I think it's just my hair texture, but I also think it's the hot tools that I use to just put this luster in it, like make it more shiny. 
I don't put any products in my hair. I literally wash my hair, let it dry or blow dry it and do it. I don't put heat style, like heat protectant in it or anything anymore. That's only because it's all the way in my office. I don't got time. But yeah, I don't put anything in my hair, like no hairspray, oils, nothing. I did just order something from Sephora to try on my hair, but I didn't get around to that yet. But yeah, I don't put anything in my hair. My hair is just naturally this shiny. I don't know why. I feel like everybody in my family has shiny hair like this though, like um, my aunts and stuff. So yeah, I hope that answers that question because I kind of picked up on it within the last two days that my hair actually is like really lustrous. It looks healthy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just go straighten up and get in the bed for the rest of my birthday. I'm not mad at that, honestly. Um, I'll probably go get me a slice of my birthday cake in a little bit with a glass of milk because that was so good last night. I have been craving cake, but too lazy to bake a cake. So the cake hit the spot yesterday. Um, and I started watching Tell Me Your Secrets. I'm a little lost. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm hoping it starts clicking for me because if not, I'm going to just have to turn it off and give something else a shot. But yeah, I'm going to clean up all this stuff um, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I think I'm going to run some errands tomorrow with my mom. Um, I need to go to Bye Bye Baby in the mall. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh.